Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video for Azure PowerShell series that we are doing. In this video, we will see how to create Azure Resource Manager templates by using the Azure portal. By Azure Resource Manager templates, I mean the Azure PowerShell templates that you can create to deploy any resources on Azure. And you can create these templates by using the Azure portal. And let me show you how it's done. All right, I am into my Azure portal. Okay, now I create a resource. I click on storage. You can create any resource. I'm just <clears throat> making a note of storage account. Okay, uh, let me select this. Storage account name is test facility. Central India performance is standard. V2. Let's keep it all uh, hot. And this is the account access tier, the default tier that is inferred by any blob without an explicitly set. Okay, this is next. Doesn't matter if it's hot or cold. Secure transfer, let's count disabled, allow network, let's keep it default. Default. Okay, now when you are in the review and create section like we are in, then you will see this option which says download a template for automation. You click on it. Now, if you see this option, this is the template and it contains all those settings that you have that will be configured while you were creating a the the storage account in Azure portal you got this option to select the location so location is one of those parameters of the storage account the storage account name you got in the value input it will take as a string account type with a premier or standard there was a string kind also with a string option access tier hot or cold was also a string support shttps traffic enable enable secure transfer it was also the boolean was either the yes or a no the variable the variable that account has our name type location properties access tier and these we have not defined any variable these are picking up from the parameters you see these are coming from here the location and if you see now this is the parameters these are all json files right so this parameters.json file is a file that supplies value to this template if you see location type is string and the parameters value would give the location central india storage account name is test as a storage here it was storage account name as a string option so this parameters.json file gives the value to the template.json file what all is required now if you will have to see the powershell template to deploy this uh, storage account <coughs> you'll see i'm sorry you will see the comment section and when you come down these are all parameter mandatory type subscription id resource group name they have defined the parameters now if we'll scroll down this is where you log in right this is where you select your subscription right host selecting subscription it will ask you now it is the resource provider that the resource provider is microsoft dot storage when the resource like if you are creating the network resource or a monitoring resource and the then the resource provider would be different right for monitoring it would be microsoft dot insights resource provider for networks maybe it would be microsoft dot networks it is a storage resource that we are creating storage account that's why it's microsoft dot storage and now if you'll scroll down create or check our existing resource group name it is the resource group creation now uh, if you'll see this deployment section just focus on this if test path is parameters file path it'll pick the value from here 
right path is the parameters file path it says new azure rm resource group deployment this is the commandlet through which you create a new uh, resource group resource group name is the resource group name variable here that we dip this deployed up template file remember template file is the template file path which is this which accepts the value the parameters and the variable and the resources right now if you'll come at the powershell here again and the template file and the template parameter file the file that would provide the values to the template file is this which has all the values the it if it's false or what will be the name what would be the value type right let's say you want to give a user an option you should you it is not the default value that you want to give you can give values underlying here this will I'm not able to edit it if you deploy onto here. Then you can give multiple values to the user as well. I'll show you how it's done. Else, if, if this is the parameters file path, it's okay. If it's not, then the template file would be the template file path here. Then it will only give the template and would pop up with the values that it wants from a user. It'll ask. It will give ask the value from us. All those values that are present in the parameters file, it will ask us what would be the value of a storage account, account type, and the storage account name. So this is how you create it. If you will, uh, you can add it to the library, the template library on your portal. You can download this, then deploy it, or you can deploy it here. If you click on deploy, it'll deploy this. See. Same thing happens here. And you can edit the template file here. It'll take you to that template file. Or if you save this, okay, I don't want to edit this. You can edit the parameters file here. It'll take you to the same parameter file, which has all the values for the template file. And you can do it. Then you can save these options. If you are done with it, you can come here, specify the resource group name. And you click here if you click on purchase it will deploy that storage account like it did it would have done from the portal this is how you create the Azure uh, resource manager template or arm template that we say from the Azure portal to work in Azure PowerShell so I hope this was informative to all of you guys please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and mention any feedback in the comment section share this video with as many people as you can and till next video, happy learning and best of luck for the rest of the day.